picture this. A moonlit night where shadow lurking, then a mysterious figure captured on civilian footage. But is that figure crystal clear or do we merely glimpse a ghostly apparition like this one? So today, we are diving into the world of video quality enhancement where darkness is no match for the power of innovation and if you're facing technical challenges whether big or small our solution page is designed to simplify the complex so don't wait and visit our solution page here to unlock the answer that you need as our reliance on security cameras grows, so does our need for high-quality video footage to ensure safety and security. Often, cameras are tasked with capturing footage in environment where lighting conditions can be far from ideal. And whether it's dimly lit street at night or stark contrasts between sunlight and shadows, Pro lighting cameras obscure vital details. This is where the importance of high quality video in civilians shines through. When choosing IP cameras, ensure your camera is equipped to handle challenging lighting conditions. To maximize the effectiveness of your civilian system, proper camera placement is the key. Be mindful of avoiding direct glare and reflection that can obscure your view. Strategic positioning for optimal coverage is essential. Ensuring your camera's field of view align with your security objectives. And once your cameras are in place, don't forget to enable the night vision mode and IR illumination if your camera support those features, as they can significantly enhance visibility during nighttime hours. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and today we are going to test on those two cameras lighting condition. First, let me introduce you. This is the 5MP PUE bullet camera with very focal lens. It can provide clear visibility of up to 30 meters even in complete darkness and also crystal clear video in 5 megapixels, ensuring that every detail is visible. Accurately identify and track human subject and trigger whenever a car is detected within its field of view. And up here we have the 8MP PoE turret camera with 4mm lens. This camera can capture video up to a resolution of 8 megapixels and equipped with two lighting systems, the infrared LED and the white light. The camera will automatically activate the white lights when someone gets within 30 feet. The 4mm fixed lens provide a broader perspective and comprehensive coverage. And since those two cameras are PoE enabled, so we only need a single Ethernet cable to transmit both power and data, eliminating the need for separate power supply. So now we are looking at the two channels, the turret camera and the bullet camera. Let's check out the bullet camera. Now as it, everything is fine, colorful because the light is on, let me turn off the light and see what happened. And now it's completely dark, you can see the video footage is blurry and scary at the same time, just like the one that I show you at the beginning. So if someone walks by, it will probably look pretty like a ghost. And let me go right click under IPC, we have the light set. And we are going to turn on the smart infrared lights, apply it and hit OK. The infrared light is on automatically and you can see the image is very sharp. And you probably can see the face when someone walks by too. And next I'm going to check out the turret camera. The turret camera has two lighting system. You can see the infrared light is already on. Now I'm going to white kick it to IPC and light set and turn on the white lights, which is the variable light. Hit apply. OK. It will take a little bit of time. Now it's on. And different from infrared light, which is black and white image, the white lights enable the colorful image. But here is the reflection of the wall and bullet camera. So please avoid this kind of placement when you do your installation. 
And also, let's go to IPC again, the light set. I'm going to show you it also has a smart alert. You can adjust the sensitivity to avoid force alarm. We have weak, medium, strong, just turn on medium. And the light tank time too. If someone walks by, it will turn on the light for about 40 seconds that I just set. Now you can see it's on infrared, right? But if someone walks by, like me, and the white light is on instantly. And it will stay for about 40 seconds because this is how we set it. 41 seconds actually. And if you don't want the smart alert, you want to keep the white lights on when it's dark, you can just choose the white lights or if you don't want the white lights, just choose infrared. So here are some more additional information. To enhance low light footage, you can use supplemental lighting options like PRI sensor to trigger lights, floodlights, or even infrared illuminator can significantly improve visibilities during nighttime or poorly lit scenarios. Also, you need to consider network consideration to ensure that your infrastructure supports streaming high quality video, including sufficient bandwidth and appropriate compression setting. Keep your lenses clean and have regular maintenance and inspection of the cameras to keep them running. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching us. I will see you next time.